Welcome back to Good Day State Line. Jill and Lindsay are here from Maximum Performance, going to tell us and show us how we can work off some of that Halloween candy calories. Right? Yes. Yes. Here for? Yes. First of yes. all, you got to tell me quickly about the 21 day give back challenge. Yeah. We forgot about it before. Awesome. No, <laughs> it's, it's something that we've never done before. So basically you get 21 days of working out, but the best part about it is, is that you get to pick what you pay uh -huh. for the 21 days. And then 100% of whatever you pick to pay gets donated towards building playhouses for deserving kids in that local area. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. So, um, and in that 21 days, you know, kind of going off the calorie stuff and the nutrition stuff is, again, we're teaching a healthy lifestyle. And so, um, actually, Jill's got some great tips about how to kind of stay away from that candy bucket too. Yeah. So. Yes, okay. So, <laughs> so, as you collect all the candy, one of yes. my first tips is to get rid of that bucket. I call it the dump bucket. Just okay. get rid of it. Okay. Like, don't have that in your house. If you want to eat the candy, acknowledge what you're eating. We at our um, mm -hmm. studio, we use uh, MyFitnessPal to ask members to track their food so you're aware of the nutrition that goes into your body. And that alone, just knowing what the food is, makes a huge difference about how much you want to eat of it because the more you know, the more you know. Makes complete sense. Yeah, the other thing is to have alternatives. So if you know you're wanting something sweet right now, maybe grab a protein shake or a flavored coffee or have an alternative. Um, and sometimes a good alternative is to allow yourself to have one or have some moderation in your life. So that way you never feel like you're cut out completely. But knowing what you're eating, having alternatives, and then eating what you would like based off of what the nutrition is based for you. That Those sounds like a great, great idea. Easy tips. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I like it. So you brought some exercises to show me how to burn off my Three Musketeers, <laughs> even though Three Musketeers we've learned is the best choice. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was gonna come out of this one. I'm so excited to eat it later. <laughs> So uh, we've been doing this for 10 years mm -hmm. and we also have heart rate monitor systems at the gym. And so we calculated basically how many burpees, okay. how many mountain climbers, and how many frog jumps it would take to burn off one of the minis. Okay. So 45 Just calories, minis, right? right. I'm yep. So, my note card. All right, so we're gonna, I'll step okay. to the side a little bit. So do you know what a burpee is? Yes. You do? do? I have to do the, all the heart? Yeah. Oh. So do like three burpees <laughs> okay. and I'll tell you, and you can guess how many of those you have to do to okay. burn off the 45. Like the whole thing yep. with the push Chest up? down. Yep. Yes. Chest down, push up. That's as far as it goes. Yep, back and up. Clap. And then jump, clap at the top. Yep. <laughs> so that's one. Do just one more. You used to be a cheerleader. <laughs> that's awesome. A okay, push up at the bottom and then jump and clap. Okay, you okay, don't have to I do that. I did two. Nice job. So that's Thank you. two, right? Is your heart rate elevated? Sure, I'm sweating. Just from doing that. Guess how many you have to do in order to burn off 45 At calories. least 20. Higher. Six. <laughs> <laughs> that number's in there. 67 burpees. Which is awful. <laughs> to burn off that many calories. Okay. It's crazy. All right. So, what um, if we have another option yeah. instead? Yeah, another <laughs> option. Okay, mountain climbers. You know okay. what those are? Yes, I can do those too. I'm ready. Okay. You guys tell me how many I have to do. Exactly. That's two, three, <laughs> that was four, five, six, seven, Okay. Eight. Okay. Okay. So how many do I have to do of that? So you have to do 140. <laughs> okay, to burn off the little no, guy. No, you oh. actually have to do Sorry. Uh, 540. <laughs> oh, that was but it. that's each leg. So Jill was counting every other leg. Oh, okay. So you oh, have to two. divide the 540 in half, and then that's how she was counting. Yeah. But if you ra raised up each leg one time and counted each one of those, yes, 540 mountain climbers to okay. burn off 45. 540. Miles. What else yeah. we got? Frog jumps. Okay, you're gonna have to show me this one really fast. Oh my goodness. I think okay. I do it really awkwardly. So, so the important thing is just to keep your chest okay. up. You're gonna go down into a squat, touch the floor, and then jump up as high like as you can and like go right back down into it. Yeah, and okay. I, honestly, that's what I do at the top. I pretend I'm shooting a basket. All right, so how many of those do we have to do? <laughs> how many of those? That one is 180. Yes. Okay, so 180 so frog jumps. We'll put all that stuff on Facebook so that everybody can eat their candy and then do their frog jump. <laughs> Isn't Thank that crazy? You both yeah. For coming. Yeah. Take a deep breath, and we're gonna take a quick break. Let's see what's going on around town.